this is what we already did. This is we discussed the um, the definition and the way you could determine uh, the model parameters A, B, C, D of the transmission one two port model of an amplifier. So that is from one of the previous sheets. So let's do an example. Here there is an example with a nuller. Of course, there are more simple examples, but we just took this one. Um, and here you see the circuit, a voltage source with a resistor and, uh, and a, um, uh, the, basically the two port is only a nuller with one resistor. And we have this RS and RL, which are part of the test uh, equipment. And we use the definition like this. We have to take the limit for the load impedance goes to infinity or to zero to find these parameters. In this case, it will be the load resistance. So let's solve this network first. Since there is a nuller, the input voltage should be zero because that is what the nullator does. It nullifies, it sets the condition and the narrator, if the circuit is correct, will uh, create a situation in which is, uh, this condition is satisfied. So since the input voltage there equals zero, the current through RS can clearly be calculated from the voltage Vs and the value of RS. So we have II equals Vs over RS. Since there can be no current in the nullator, all this current flows through R. And this enables us to calculate the output voltage because then the output voltage must be the input voltage, which basically is zero, minus I, this input current, times R, which gives us that the output voltage equals minus Vs times R over Rs. And of course, having now the output voltage, it um, is simple to calculate the output current because the output current is just the current through RL, which is the voltage divided by RL. So we can say this is the output current. And now can, you can just apply the definitions as we have seen in the uh, measurement of the parameters. A, we find by taking the limit of RL goes to infinity with VI over VO. But since VA, VI equals zero and uh, VO is well defined, it means we have zero for A. B equals the limit of RL goes to zero, of VI goes to uh, divided by VO. And you will see that in this case also because VI is zero, and VO is, uh, has a finite value, um, it will be zero. C is the limit of II divided by v, uh, VO, and the II of the amplifier is Vs over Rs. It's not zero, II of the, the, the nullator is zero, the current through the nullator is zero, but not of the amplifier. We have seen II, so you can just put everything in the equation and find that C equals minus one over R. And D, you do a similar thing, of course, and then you have the current gain and you find that D equal zero. So this is from hand calculation. And let's say that you would make a mistake and uh, you want to check yourself because it's always good to have two ways to find your answer and even multiple ways you can say, um, Slycap gives you the opportunity to do it symbolically, um, but you could also think of just putting a circuit in Altispa and having a numeric example, but a numeric example is always very specific. It might that exactly at the selection of your component value, something cancels and it gives you a zero without being really zero. Um, so it's just uh, can be very specific. So it's better to do symbolic equations and that's why you have we have provided you slide cap. So here is the device under test and it's an LT spy circuit with a parameter R as a, the, the, for this resistor. And you see the voltage source and its internal resistance and a, a resistor R2. If you want to measure a current in slide cap, it is basically the same as in LT spice. Measuring a current can only be done through a 
thing that has the current in a matrix and then modified nodal analysis. And if you don't know about modified nodal analysis, you can go to chapter 18, but I hope uh, you had it with network theory. Usually you basically do nodal analysis, which gives you only the voltages and not the current as solution. So you only have currents through voltage sources, inductors and resistors if you take a special matrix stamp for that. And in SLICAP I provided that. So there is a model, a symbol R underscore small r. And if you place that one for R2, it has another matrix stamp for the MA uh, uh, analysis, modified nodal analysis, and it gives you also the current through it. That is nice because then we don't need an extra voltage source. Basically, it has the matrix stamp of a voltage source with zero voltage in series with the resistor. That is what it is. So, um, let's see what we need for slide cap, if you would do so. Uh, I just put a few lines here in one uh, at once. Um, you import everything, you give it the file name, and this is the file name ABCD test that I gave to it. You initialize the pro uh, project because that creates the directory structure and your sets all the initial HTML uh, directives so that you can add something to a page because then basically there is a page, otherwise there is nothing. So it's always good to have these, uh, this project, init project uh, thing um, there, and then you define an instruction. Check the circuit, like setting a circuit and checking it. And then we are going to do symbolic analysis. So we set the simulation type to symbolic. The gain type to gain. Now, maybe it is unclear to you what gain type means at this stage. Uh, in this, at this stage, we only use the gain type gain, which means I'm going to calculate a transfer from the source to the detector. That is what gain means. Later on, when we do negative feedback, we have other gain types like loop gain, direct transfer, asymptotic gain, and servo function, but we are not yet going to deal with that. We now have gain, and we have, but we are using it only, I think, in the next time, um, a gain type VI, and then it is going to calculate voltages and currents. So, if you know a little bit about linear algebra, if you do gain, you are just uh, trying to find the appropriate cofactor from a matrix. And if you do uh, uh, VI, you are solving the matrix with, me, uh, with the aid of Kramer's rule. That is the difference in uh, dealing with it. So for example, if I want to know the output voltage, but now, uh, there will be definitely zero because the input voltage is zero. But the gain from V1 to R to the output voltage is not zero. And it doesn't depend on the input voltage because it's a linear circuit. So that's the difference. I also need to define a uh, symbolic, the, the symbolic variable in Python, RL. That is the symbol RL, which is part of the uh, parameters. Parameters are not automatically transferred to your, uh, as Python's, symbolic variables you have to do it manually yourself otherwise you have so many variables with large circuits that you don't know what you have anymore so um, this is more simple you only define the variable that you need because later on we want to take the limit of this rl goes to zero or infinity and i will show you how to do that in python so here we are going to calculate vi ii vo and io so the first thing is VI. So I set my detector to VI and you see this one note, this note that the input I called I. So V underscore I means give me the voltage at node I uh, as detector. So I'm basically calculating not the voltage, but the transfer. So I'm calculating the transfer from V1 to VI. Yeah, but that will always be zero because there's a nullator there. So there's a nullator there, but okay. Calculate result with execute, and then in the result structure, there is result dot Laplace, which is uh, related to the data type Laplace, which is the Laplace transform of the transfer. And of course, this will be zero in this case, but that is not interesting. So I have VI. I do a similar thing for II. II <coughs> equals 
minus is, that is how it is defined. You see the detector, the detector, where is the detector set? Detector uh, VI, and now I set the detector to the current through V1. So I'm getting IS, which goes from the plus to the minus in V1, so from the top to the bottom, and II equals minus this, this current. So II equals minus result dot Laplace. That's why it is there. Then I am calculating the output voltage. So I'm setting my detector now to the output. And you see, I named this node O. So V underscore O is now the name of the detector voltage with respect to ground, a single detector. So it is here uh, the result and the VO is result dot Laplace. And now I can also do IO because then I set detector as the current through R2 and this type of model, this type of resistor has a current through it in the matrix and it is defined as I underscore R2. You can find it in the help file. So now I have VI, II, VO and IO and the only thing I have to do is calculate ABCD from them. So A was the limit of VI divided by VO for LL, RL goes to infinity. And this is how you do in symbolic Python. And symbolic Python is included already uh, in SlyCap. So if you do SP dot, then you have uh, a function of SymPy. Uh, of course, you could also say at the end, uh, import SymPy as SP. That would be exactly the same, but I have it already, so I didn't do it. So SymPy and NumPy and a few other packages like modplotlib, et cetera, are standard imported by SlyCap. So you can directly use them, but if you import it, it will only put a, put a pointer, an extra pointer in your program. So it doesn't do anything. Basically, you can still use it. But between quotes, OO is infinity in uh, symbolic Python. That's nice to know. So B equals the limit for RL goes to zero. So that's why we defined this variable RL. You see, I need here the symbolic variable RL. Otherwise, it doesn't know what to do. And C, the limit for RL goes to infinity of II divided by VO, etc. I have A, B, C, D in this way. And at the end, I can define a, sim a, matrix, a matrix in symbolic Python. And this is the way to do it. So sp dot matrix with capital M, and then you have square brackets for the whole matrix and each row gets is, is a list. And you see here, this is A, B, first row, second row, C, D. So if you run this, it will give you the result. And maybe I can do it. And just run the thing for you. There should be a spider thing active here. And I hope this is the same code with a little bit of comment. And you can download it. The link is on the web page. So you don't have to type this all yourself. You know, we already did it for you. So you, you can do it. LLT spice circuit is this one. Exactly as uh, I said, and this is uh, if you are going to place a component from the SlyCap library, then you do this one. And this one has, you see, this has a different uh, variables than the other one, than R1. And this model, RR, can have the current through it. So I already generated the netlist of this thing. The netlist is here abcd test these nodes are assigned by lt spice and the other nodes are designed by myself never rename a node zero because node zero is ground and if it is missing ground it doesn't do anything it just gives you an error it cannot find ground node so if i run this whole stuff and then, well, there's nothing to display here, but you see here I have T1 equals the matrix. So I can say T1 enter, and it says minus one over R for C and A, B and A, B and D are zero. 
that's what it is. And it also will be in the HTML pages. So let's say a simple thing you could do is say, well, I leave out the, the, the nuller. I leave out the nuller. That could be an exercise you do yourself. Um, I leave out the nuller. Then my circuit basically changes to, where is LT spice? Just to only R3 in the device under test. And now let's try to find out the parameters. So A is the voltage to voltage transfer when the thing is open. So if I would put a voltage here and there's only a resistor there, then the same, and they don't put any load there, then there's the same voltage there. So the voltage gain is unity. So A is expected to be unity as well. B is one over the transfer from voltage to current. So if I do voltage to current, then the current is one over R times this voltage. So B should be R. C is the current to voltage when the thing is not loaded. So if I put the current in there and I let this one go to infinity, then the voltage will automatically also follow the current and goes to infinity because that's, you know, th this is not here. Yes, the input circuit. It's just I put the current here and leave R1 out uh, because it's only about this little circuit. So that's easier to see. And I find C equal zero. D I can find from the current gain. So put the current in here and short it. Well, then the same current will flow through the load if I short it because there's nothing else. So even if there was a load resistor for any value, the D equals unity as well. So that is what I mean. First, you try by reasoning or by calculation, find the transmission matrix yourself, and then you run the program. Uh, I hope I saved it in that list. And then you find again T1. And now you see 1, R1, and 0 for C, exactly how what we predicted.